Hello there. This is an astrology forecast for Gemini for August 2010. And this also applies if you have a Gemini ascendant. So my Geminis, it's going to be a lot of focus this month on your home, on your family, on your security, on your surroundings, on your community, on the people around you on how comfortable you're feeling with your life around you and whether there are some changes, whether that restlessness in you, Gemini, is going again and you feel like you need to instigate some changes in this area. There could also be some disagreements with family as well. So watch out for that. We've got Mercury going retrograde. Mercury is your ruler, Gemini. So when it goes retrograde, sometimes for you, you find yourself in miscommunications. Oh, I've not been understood. I've been misunderstood. So try from the 20th of the month, Mercury is retrograde until the 11th of September. So be even more aware how you're communicating. Try not to rush people. Your mind is so fast. So many of you Gemini's, you're so quick. You're beyond many of the rest of us, particularly the slower signs, the Taurus and the Scorpio, and the signs that need a bit more time to integrate and reflect. You sometimes push things through and we don't know what's gone on sometimes afterwards. We're a bit confused because Gemini is so fast. So anything that you need to get done that involves contracts, legal things, anything you want to buy or treat yourself to, do it before the 20th of the month while Mercury is direct. It's in Virgo, so it's in one of the rulers of Virgo. So this should be good for networking and good for communicating. We do have the sun in the third house until about the 22nd of the month. So those of you that need to network, to communicate, to, to work in with your community, to maybe help your neighbours to do something um, connected with computing, with education, with teaching, maybe doing a course. All these things would come under this sun transiting your third house until about the 23rd of the month. As I said, we've got a lot of planets in the fourth house, so there can be harmony in the home because we've got Venus there. You may be looking to beautify your home, do something nice to it. Just maybe paint it or add something beautiful, nice colours, but do something that makes it beautiful. For those of you that are maybe selling your home, you may get a home stager in to help you inexpensively make the home more beautiful so you can sell it more easily. These are all kinds of things, but certainly a focus around the home and family area it will be under will be under sharp focus. Then also during this month, we've got creativity under focus. So anything that's creative, anything that brings out the child within could be acting, could be singing, could be dancing, could be helping children, helping young people, could also be having a business, getting your business going promoting your business more, promoting a new business idea, something that's very inventive. Gemini's, you're very inventive. So this will be a good month for that. Saturn as well will give you some stability. Also between the 14th and the 21st, Jupiter is opposite Saturn. So this is an interesting time for business. This is a time when you may be able to do very good business because Saturn is about structure and Jupiter is about growth and they're opposite each other. So it's about balancing, finding the balance between growing and expanding and taking risks and then at the same time being sensible and practical and realistic. We do have Pluto in this eighth house of joint finance, so it's important that you are careful about any debts that you're in. Try and get yourself out of debt if you possibly can and also don't get into too much debt during this time. Be very responsible about your financial advisors and also where you put your money. That's also a big consideration for you Geminis at this point. So there you have it Gemini, focus on the home, your creativity and possibly for those of you looking for love, particularly towards the end of the month, there's a possibility that something may come in there. Or for those of you in a relationship that you deepen that relationship even further. They could also be endings. I must say with Saturn there, many of you may experience endings or completions of a relationship that's been going on where you've been uncertain as to the direction it's going, but now you're certain and there's a completion and it's, and it's going to be finished and over and behind you and you can then open yourself up to something new. So there you have it. I'd like to say thank you to so many of you who've sent your questions in. My one question up to 150 words for $25 I sent you an, an email and um, 
People ask me all kinds of questions. You might ask me, when will my finances improve? Um, is this a good time to move? Um, my, uh, my brother-in-law wants me to invest in his company. He said he's going to make me a junior partner. Should I do it? So there are all kinds of questions you can ask. Try and be as specific and as short as you can, because then I can give you the best kind of answer. So if you'd like to look on my website, here's the details, or you may ask a question, or you may want a more in-depth reading. You can have 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour. So please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a great month. Bye for now.